Hello, my dear students. I am Kalish Shekh here. Today, we are here to discuss science and technology two of civil prelim two paper one. So, let us begin with the first question that is, choose the correct alternative and rewrite the statement, which comes for five marks. Here, the first question is very easy, my dear student. For the production of bread, what we do not require? We do not require lactobacilli, as we all know lactobacilli is used for the production of curd. Whereas yeast, flour of cell and water is required for the production of bread. Okay. Moving ahead with the next question. That is, which of the following factors is important when considering organ transplantation? During organ transplantation, my dear students, we all know the answer is very simple. That is all of the above. We should know the blood group of the recipient. We should know the age of the donor. We should know the, whether the donor has any disorders or not. Moving ahead with the third question. That is, which of the following mentioned factors are important for good social health? The answer is very simple. We should have all these three things, all these three characteristics to have a good social health. Moving ahead with the fourth question, wild animal attack is a, it is also a very simple question. So the answer is very easy, that is biological type of disaster. Moving with the fifth question, each nuclear fission of uranium nucleus releases dash energy. So, the, our answer is 200 mega electron. Okay, going to the next question that is, match the column. Okay, uh, here there are two columns which, been, which has been provided to us. One is for uh, the name, one is with the name of micro, and another one is with the product that we get from that micro. So, our answer for aspergillus nigra is gluconic acid. We get gluconic acid as a product from the micro, with the help of micro, that is aspergillus micro. Second is brevibacterium. Brevibacterium is used for the production of lactic acid. Okay. Moving ahead with the next question, that is complete the correlation. Here you can see the, the name and the scientific name of the plant has been given to us. That is cocoa, cocoa, that is chocolate. And the scientific name of the plant which has been given to us is Theobroma acca. For coffee, the scientific name of that plant is Cafe Arabica. Please uh, practice the spelling of Cafe Arabica as well as Theobroma cacao, as well as other different micro, other different name, scientific name that has been given in your textbook, my dear students. Going ahead with the next complete correlation, here you can see Adionella secansis. Adionella secansis is a micro which is used for degradation of plastic. Whereas actinomycetes is a micro which is used for the degradation of rubber. Okay. Moving ahead with the next thing. Okay. Next question that is uh, find the odd way now. Uh, here we have it provided uh, with the question that is bomb blast, tsunami, cyclone, and flood. The answer is very simple as you can observe bomb blast because it is a man made disaster. Okay. Give, moving ahead to the second question that is give scientific reason. You have to attempt any two questions here. Here, microbial enzymes are used instead of chemical catalyst. As we all know, my dear students, chemical catalyst were used in the earlier days for the production of chemicals in the industry. Whereas nowadays, microbial enzymes are being used in large quantity for the production of their chemical as this microbial enzymes, my dear students, are active at very low temperature and pH and pressure, due to which lots and lots of energy is being saved, as well as we get the erosion proof instruments are also not necessary for synthesizing these chemicals. As well as the second most important point you have to keep in mind here that the elimination and the decomposition of the waste material is avoided as no byproduct has been formed during the production of chemicals with the help of microbial enzymes. So, moving, uh, this is the major uh, points that you can write in the answer, the first and the second, third point, which is very most important. And the second thing uh, that uh, for the purification process, uh, the minimum expenses are being are taking place okay going with it with the next question okay here you can see uh, in the image here a type of disaster has been provided in this image uh, my dear student please uh, practice this uh, images that has been given you don't have to draw it you just have to write 
uh, what this image shows to us and what does it indicate okay so here you can see a gas a cylinder where from which a gas has been leaked and the person has been standing here uh, with covering his nose because he is facing some of the problems here the disaster which is being seen is the cooking cylinder gas leakage here the second thing you can write here the person is facing suffocation as well as difficulty in breathing which can lead to fire okay moving ahead with the third point is what precautions you can take if you come across such a disaster so what you will do you will open the door you will open the door and windows you will switch off electric supply as well as close the door in the second image as you can see this all the images of uh, my dear students are very much important there are other images too in the chapters called uh, social health and disaster management please 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 don't avoid them uh, during your exams you have to completely learn them and practice the answers given to you in the digest or in the notes okay here in the second image you can observe the boy is uh, uh, consuming the food and he is continuously observing in the phone or we can say he is continuously using the cell phone the the process we he is doing is very wrong as it can affect the digestion of the boy as well as he might swallow something else which he should not consume like we can say um, we can uh, means he can uh, Eat some unwanted substances like uh, we can say in the mirchi, whatever, etc. Anything he can consume, okay, which is bad for him. Or we can say uh, he can get uh, some uh, problems to it. Okay, going ahead with the next most important question that is conventional energy sources and non-conventional energy sources, which is uh, something important from the chapter number five here. Your conventional and non-conventional source energy sources. So, and one is conventional energy sources are exhaustible. Exhaustible means what? They can get exhausted or they can get evaporated. We can see, or they can get uh, completely finished. Or here, non-conventional sources are of energy are inexhaustible. Inexhaustible means they are not going to get uh, finished from the earth or from the environment. They are going to be there. Okay, so second point you can see your conventional energy sources. We can give, give you the examples like petrol, diesel. These things are exhaustible sources. They can get uh, completely finished from the environment. Okay, because they require thousands of years to synthesize. Whereas uh, the non-conventional energy sources like sun, sunlight, wind energy. These are examples of non-conventional energy sources which are present in abandoned front and they are pollution free too. But instead of using them, we are more focused on using this resource that is conventional energy sources which is very bad. See, nowadays we can see um, many of the peoples are moving uh, to, to a change that is uh, to uh, like we can say, they are moving towards they will be using electric vehicles. Yes. Going ahead with the next question, as you can observe in the conception picture, that is xanthan gum. You have to write uh, what is the uses of xanthan gum. You can see here xanthan gum uses a high quality paper, toothpaste, textile pigment, we decide. You have to practice all flow charts, you have to practice all the, uh, the, the question that has been uh, come in your exams like the pictures or the images that has been given to you okay my dear students here you can see the next uh, complete the following chart here stem cells stem cells uh, which uh, where it is being produced or where we can find the stem cells where uh, in neuron uh, in brain we can see the stem cells in bones osteocyte we can see the stem cells in livers so there is a hepatocytic cells hepatocytic cells are also present there from which we can collect the stem cells heart cardiac cells or heart cells as you all know columnar epithelium cell which is present in our intestine going ahead you can see here the images again which has come uh, which has arise from the chapter that's a disaster management you have to practice them you have to write them and so you don't have to practice you don't have to draw you just have to write the answers of them okay. 
we are at the first question that is most important, which are writing about right, a comparative note on usefulness and harmfulness of biotechnology, as you can observe here. Okay. But the question is usefulness of biotechnology. Biotechnology, my dear students, has for a very large play in human welfare. We all know during the COVID period, the the people, the scientists have these uh, researches have been conducted in large quantity with the help of biotechnology due to which what we can do we can we were saved we got vaccines will be produced so this is all the benefit or we can say these are the usefulness of biotechnology in day to day life this biotechnology has shaped many a thing we can see a variety of sizes of seeds vegetables plants we can see this biotechnology is not only helping but it is a boon to our environment as well as to our human society it is also used as you can see as i have already said to you it is also a boon to a diagnostic kits as during various disasters, the kits were not available, the medicines were not available, but due to biotechnology, with the help of biotechnology, we were able to fight with the disease, we were able to uh, identify the pathogens, we were identified to kill it, we were able to kill it, yes. So likewise, with the uh, merits of biotechnology, there are demerits too, my dear students. That is, uh, they, they require high cost of expert apparatus as well as during experimentation of plant genetic potato. It can also lead to life threatening too. One, most one more also important answer is there in the question here you can observe, uh, write a short note on nature and scope of disaster. Uh, here you have to write the three phases, my question, that is three phases are very much important in this answer that you will give you three marks in the exam. Please do practice this answer, please do write the answers very, but the more you practice, the more you get help, will get the uh, uh, means uh, what we can say is you will be able to write each and every answers in the exam because the exam is of writing exam it is not of mugging up or just learning up you have to write you have to practice my dear students because you have to complete your paper within one uh, two hours okay so that's it from my side thank you so much all the best my dear students thank you Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss the model answers for science to paper 2 semi prelim 2. In this, the test is for two, 2 hours and the marks that you will be scoring here is 40 marks. So accordingly, we are supposed to answer all the questions. The first question itself is choose a correct alternative where you are supposed to answer the question by writing the whole statement along with the answer. Yes? So let's move to the first question. Dash is a byproduct of fermentation and is a biopesticide. So the correct answer to this question is spinosad. The next question, bacteria used as biofertilizers is Dash. So it is no stock. Third question, the chairman of village level committee is Dash. We all know the Panchayati Raj system and hence the most appropriate answer here will be Sarpanch. Let's move to the fourth question. In soilless farming, that is hydroponics, dash chemical fertilizers are used. Hydro itself suggests that it is with the use of liquid medium. Hence, the fertilizers will also be liquid. And the last question is, in combustion of coal, dash gas is released. We all know that dash gas is CO2 gas. Yes, this is how we complete with the alternative part. Let's go on or move ahead with the further part of the question. That is question number 1B, where we are supposed to answer the following. Here, we are supposed to complete the analog. The first one is phenyl oxidizing bacteria, which is used for the treatment of sewage. We have to correlate here. That is, for what reasons hydrocarbonoclastic bacteria is used. This bacteria is used for treatment or clearing of oil spills. The second question is white revolution, which is related to dairy, that is milk. And hence, blue revolution will be 
related to aquatic organism or culturing of aquatic organisms. The next question is question number two match the columns where they are given us certain compounds and their uses. Here we are supposed to match appropriately depending on the use of the compound. So xylitol is used to impart artificial sweetness. Citric acid is used to impart acidity and lycopene is used as a pigment. So with this, we complete the objective part here, students. So let's move on to the next question and answers part. That is question number 2A, give scientific reasons any two. Here the allotted marks are four marks for two questions. Hence, one question will be for two marks. Hence, four points are expected. So let's see what is the first question here. The first question is microbial enzymes are used instead of chemical catalysts in chemical industries. So here we are supposed to justify our reasons why that why we are using microbial enzymes. So let's see why they are used. They are used because of the characteristic features that they have, like they are active at low temperature and pH and pressure. They are eco-friendly. They carry out specific processes and hence we choose them because they are also eliminating and decomposing the waste material. So this is the reason why we are going to use the microbial enzymes instead of chemical enzymes. Hence, please justify your answers with all these key points like low pH, low temperature, low costing, etc. The second question is enzymes obtained are also used in detergent, right? So let's see why they are used in detergents. Just a second. Yes. So it will be similar to the first question that we have answered. They are obtained by microbial processes and are active at low temperature, pH and pressure. It helps to remove the stain effectively and they are eco-friendly as well. And hence we are going to go for the microbial enzymes. Let's move to the third question. That is herbicide tolerant plant variety of crops are being developed. This is from the biotech chapter where we are going to see why we are developing this herbicide tolerant plant. We all know that the unwanted plants are called as weeds and hence when we try to destroy these weeds, it also affects our main crops. So if we are developing herbicide tolerant plant varieties of crops, it will help us or it will become possible to selectively destroy the weeds and hence help with the production of the crops or the main crops. With this, we complete the give reason part and this is how you are supposed to answer the questions. And let's move on to the next question. The next question is question number 2B. Answer the following questions and three. Yes. The first question is what are the benefits of mixing ethanol with petrol and diesel? So the answer for this question is ethanol is a renewable domestically produced transportation fuel. It burns more cleanly with less carbon emissions reduces dependence of fossil fuels, enhances the octane content in the fuel, and hence it is more preferable for use. Second question. Suresh is down with diarrhea, suggest food that help him with his stomach problem. This is a personal response question and hence try to answer it accordingly depending or using the content from the textbook. So it is related to probiotics. So you'll be writing few points about probiotic and the uses of probiotic. So here it contains, that is probiotics contains active bacteria, for example, lactobacillus, right? Which balances the intestinal microorganisms and kills the harmful microorganisms as well, helping in digestion. Plus the, exa plus the example for harmful microorganism is clostridium. So this is how it completes your answer and it will give you two marks. The third question is complete the following chart. Yes, students. So let's see how this chart for properties of pre-disaster management can be completed. The first point that you will write is identifying the pro-disaster areas, increasing awareness about disaster management, getting special training for disaster management and collecting the information about the intensity of disaster and probable sites of disaster. So with this, you will get your marks. What will you do? Why? Child of your neighbor is addicted to tobacco chewing. Again, a personal response question. So please be 
wise enough and give an ideal response rather than your personal response. Yes, which will give you good marks. Then, so we'll start the answer. The first point that the effects of tobacco consumption or any substance abuse, you will explain regarding harmful effects to both the parent and the child. And this will help the child to overcome the addiction and it will help him to cultivate some good hobby to divert his mind from tobacco. The fifth question is in the diagram, the silicon solar cells with dimensions one centimeter square are connected. Find the potential difference and electric current. Here you can see the diagram. It is about solar cells. So let's move to the answers here that what is expected. So it is made up of silicon, yes, with a dimension of one centimeter square. We get electric current of 30 milliampere and a potential difference of 0 0.5 volt. Since the cells were in parallel, there will be no change in potential difference. Hence, V will be 0 0.5 volt. Total current is equal to sum of individual currents. That is, I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. So the answer will be 90 milliampere. Whenever you write such, uh, such sums, you are supposed to write it with the formula. And then finally, a closing statement or the conclusion, which is this potential difference is 0 0.5 ohm and the current of 90 milliampere is produced. And you get your two marks. Now we begin with the next part of the question paper that is answer the following question where you are supposed to write any five and you will be getting three marks per question. So six points are at least expected in this section. To complete the table here, they are given us certain sources on which there will be use of microorganisms and amino acid obtained and the further use of that amino acid. So the source here is and the microorganism used is Brevibacterium Corinobacterium, which yields L-glutamic acid for the use in the preparation of the taste maker, that is MSG or a genome. The second source and the microbe used is Asparagillus niger, which helps us to extract gluconic acid, which is further used for production of supplements like calcium and iron supplement. The next question is write a short note on stem cells. There are these points which are expected. You start with the definition of what are stem cells. Then talk about the different types of cells that arises from them. How they are useful in wound healing and other, other parts of our body or stages of development. During further development, we also know that how stem cells undergo cell differentiation and the sources of the stem cells like umbilical cord, blastocyst stage of embryonic development, red bone marrow, adipose connective tissue, etc. It has become possible to produce different types of tissues and the degenerated part of any organ with the help of this stem cell technology. And hence, they are very useful to us. So we will end with what are the two sources or types of stem cells, that is embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. The third question is complete the following chart where you are supposed to talk about merits of biotech or else the advantages of biotech. So two answers are already given to us. You are supposed to fill in the remaining parts. That is how biotech is useful in human health, increase per hectare yield, development of resist variety, uh, resistant varieties of crops, development of fast fruit setting varieties, development of stress resistant varieties and the hybrids. With this, you will get your three marks. The fourth question is dependent on a picture where there is this picture which expresses certain emotions. You have to see that, feel it and try to answer the question. So is the picture that you can see is rational? You're supposed to express your opinion. Again, a personal response question. So please answer accordingly. Yes. So as you can see the behavior here, which is not rational at all. The incident shows that a woman is misbehaving with a person. 
who is old or suffering from some kind of incurable disease. Such misbehaving and mistreating of, uh, to, uh, with the person will add to his suffering. And hence, it is not at all a rational behavior. Brother, we should treat them better. Yes, we should help them, take care, talk to such people and help them to ease their suffering. This is how you are supposed to give your response to that question. Let's see the next question that is again on a picture or a, a diagram. You can clearly see there is a disaster that is mentioned. And you are supposed to state about the precautions that you would take during this disaster. So it is clearly indicated that it is a it is earthquake disaster, right? So let's see what are the precautions that we can take. So in this earthquake disaster, we will be seeing that we are not going to panic, take shelter under a table to protect ourselves, stay from bookcase or furniture or any heavy articles in our room, stay away from windows. Will be close to bed, hold or stay there, protecting our head, which encloses our vital organ that is brain. And also, if we are outdoors, we'll try to reach to a clear spot and away from the buildings, trees, and electric poles and wires that can fall on us. If we are in a car, we'll slow down, drive to a clear place, stay in the car until the shaking stops. So these are the precautions that I'll take, and this is how you're supposed to mention all the precautions. Question six, effective disaster management makes us well prepared for future. Explain this part. You will start with what is disaster management, that is the definition of it, that is achieving or time to time improving the ability to face the disasters through scientific and careful observations and analysis of data. It involves collecting the information about intensity of the disasters, make hazardous maps, include special training for disaster management. It includes preparedness of the plan. It includes modern technology. In the future, the people and administration can be updated and made alert about the situation. So it is rather facing or trying to deal with the disaster adequately. And these are the points that you are supposed to mention. Let's see the next. Question that is, which changes occur in person continuously using internet and mobile phone? It is from the chapter Social Health again. So let's see what are the problems. The physical problems like tiredness, headache, insomnia, forgetfulness, tinnitus, that is hearing sound, some sounds in your ear, joint pains, problems in vision may arise due to radiation of cell phone. This radiation easily affect small kids or children. And hence, person should avoid using this. Why? Because if you are using it for a longer duration, you will be tend to be more and more solid. They become self-centered and thereby they may develop problems like autism, that is difficulty to form relations and selfishness. They become less sensitive toward others and there are also some chronic effects which are related to it. So please stay away from the phones is the message that we are giving through this answer. And this is how you'll complete your answer. The next question is complete the chart here. Let's see the question first. So there are certain blanks given in this chart and we are supposed to fill it and then we'll be getting our three marks. So please go in a sequence. The chemical energy is coal. In the coal is converted in thermal energy. Kinetic energy further as in the form of steam. This steam is used to move the turbines or the blades of the turbine. And finally, electric energy will be produced. The last question and the most important one, that is the brief question. Here you are supposed to write any one question and you will be getting your five mark. For this, you are supposed to write at least minimum eight to ten points. The first question is give the steps for the production of cheese. Now, Cheese is our most favorite food item. So let's see how this cheese is made and what are the steps involved. So here we are using cow's milk abundantly. We'll do some testing like chemical and microbial testing. Add colors and the strains of the microorganisms are very important to be mentioned while writing this, this book. So the strains used are lactobacillus lactis, lactobacillus cremoris, streptococcus thermophilus, etc. Then the whey is separated, enzyme called protease. Again, this word, this enzyme name is important in your answer. So please try to remember and mention it. 
The solid yogurt is cut into pieces, washed, rubbed, salted, mixed with essential microbes, pigments, and flavor, and further pressed and cut into pieces and stored for ripening. Now, depending on the ripening, there are different types. The fresh one, which are soft, semi-hard, and hard cheese, with examples. The next question is on types of disasters. So, how can disasters can be classified depending on various criteria? So the types of disasters, this is there in your textbook, please. So please go through it. They are basically classified into three: that is geophysical, biological, and man-made. In geophysical, these are the geological disasters, and these are the atmospheric disasters. In biological, there are two types: plant and animal. So plant caused or related disasters are here, which you're supposed to mention. And the animal related disasters like infection, viruses, plague, poisonous animal, bite, etc. Man made disasters are very easy to guess. It is unknown and international. The poisonous gases, different atomic tests or accidents, unplanned actions, etc., are unknown ones. While if you talk about international man made disasters, war, fire, bomb blast, forced migration, terrorism, etc., are man made international disasters. This is how when you write all these points, you are going to get your five marks. With this, we complete the discussion for all the answers for this paper set. I hope you have understood what points you are supposed to mention. So accordingly, please try to maintain the keywords and the language that you are using. I hope you will use this and uh, uh, all the best for your coming exams. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'll be discussing with you your semi-prelim second paper three. My name is Sakshi. Okay, so let's get into it. The paper was quite uh, straight and direct. So the first question, question number one A, MCQ. Ethanol can be obtained by fermentation of dash. As you see, sugar molasses, maple syrup and starch of root. All three of them are the correct answers. So the answer to your question will be option number four. All of these vaccines contain dash over here. Once again, make sure you're reading all the options correctly because silly mistakes happen. Uh, and we just write down the first correct answer that we find. Okay, so here option A and C that is inactivated uh, weakened antigens and killed pathogens, both of them are correct. So the answer will be B, both A and C. Third one, all of the following are accepted stress management techniques except dash. Except it is asked. So, matlab, charu me se konsa stress management technique nahi hai pucha hai. So, answer is option A, avoiding problems. Stem cell preserved in sterile vials, they are kept in liquid nitrogen at dash. So, to da dash to dash, that is the temperature. So, option A, minus 135 degree C to minus 190 degree C is the correct answer. Okay, coming to question number 1B. Uh, first one is true or false. Question mein likha hai, correct the false statement. So, make sure you're doing it, not only writing true and false. Okay, if you are not writing the correct statement, you'll lose half of your marks. First one, microbial enzymes are inactive at low temperature. Answer is false, correct statement. Microbial enzymes are active at low temperature. Uh, genetic biotechnology involves use of either cell or tissue. Once again, statement is false. Correct statement is non-genetic biotechnology involves the use of either cell or tissue. Okay, then the complete the analogic end of a question. First one, National Pomegranate Research Institute, Solapur. National Citrus Research Institute, Nagpur. Insulin, diabetes, interleukin, cancer. Fern terrace vitata, uh, it cures, uh, it absorbs arsenic. Indian mustard, it absorbs selenium. Okay, then uh, question number two. Answer the following any two. You have to choose wisely. Okay. Jiska bhi answer zada correctly aata hai, which uh, questions which have more content to write in. Choose those kind of questions. So the first one, children get addicted to deadly substances like tobacco, cigarette, gutka, etc. In this, you will be mentioning that in adolescent age, the children are more influenced with their friends and peers instead of going to take advice of their parents and teachers. They listen to their friends. And uh, also, the children, they look, by, while growing up, they are looking up to their elders who are taking and consuming such substances, or they find it a high standard of living if we consume such kind of substances. So all these points should be mentioned in this particular 
answer. Then the second one, human disasters increased after the World War II. In this particular one, you have to mention all the reasons that why after the Second World War, the human disasters increased. So in this, you should be mentioning points like uh, increasing population. Then uh, you can write that uh, the economic instability and racial and religious differences in a country, it brought instability in the country. It also uh, started increasing accidents and, uh, you know, incidents like abduction, terrorism, all these things increased after the Second World War. So these are the points, you know, key points which should be present in your answer. Coming to question number two, answer the following questions, any three, okay? In this, if you see two marks questions, so we are expecting you to write uh, four to five points, okay? So in this question number two, complete the following conceptual picture, okay? Very direct, straightforward question. It is given in your textbook as well. Sewage processing after, uh, sewage after processing. So in this, Cleaning, environmentally safe water, sludge, fertilizer, and microbial decomposition. You get very quick two marks. No need to write down full-fledged answers. Okay. Then uh, if you see question number four, Mohan is suffering from cirrhosis of liver. His chances of survival is only 20% and doctors are advising liver transplant. So this is the situation which they have given and the questions asked on it is, what are the two possibilities of saving Mohan's life? So, uh, stem cell transplantation and uh, organ transplant. So, these are the two possibilities of saving Mohan's life. And what factors should be considered before the transplant of the liver by Mohan and then the donor? So, the factors like age group, blood group, uh, then the diseases and disorders, etc. should be the factors which are considered by, uh, considered by doing the transplant. Okay. Coming to question number three. Once again, you have an option, any five, three mark questions. So expected number of points will be five to six. Okay. Now the first one, which are the reasons for increasing popularity of probiotic products? In this, what all things you should mention is what are probiotics? So probiotics are the drinks or the products which are obtained from milk. Okay. Then why are they necessary? Because they are uh, you know, maintaining the balance of your intestine. Then the antibiotics which we take, they kill the useful microbes present in our elementary canal. And when we consume probiotics, it makes the, those uh, bacteria active again. So these are the important reasons why the uh, popularity of probiotic products is increasing. These are the points which should be mentioned in your answer. Then... Uh, Write a short note on biotechnology professional uses. All the uses of biotechnology, okay, all the commercial and professional uses, using uh, DNA and proteins for human welfare, then uh, how we are using, uh, you know, biological microorganisms to produce yogurt from milk and uh, all these things will be mentioned in this particular question. Uh, third one, write the correct answer in the blank spaces. Once again, direct three marks, you just have to mention the textual answers in this. So, as you see, uses of stem cells, regenerative therapy, organ transplantation, organ and body donation. These are the three answers which are expected from you in this flowchart. Coming to question four, you see there are two images, uh, then and now. And in the then image, if you observe, the mother is forcing the child to come inside and study. And in the now image, the mother is forcing the child to go outside. So in this, they are asking you to express your opinion that why such differences are arising. So you will be mentioning points like previously the children were not aware of technology and they were not having mobile phones, television. So they used to spend more time playing outdoor games. Okay, But nowadays, the scenario is that the children don't want to go outside. They want to sit in the home, watch television or, you know, play their video games, computer games, etc. So uh, because of that, what is happening, we know that from the research and all that uh, physical exercises, how important it is when you are in your growing stages of your childhood. So all these points should be mentioned and uh, you will have to explain your opinion about the difference in both the situations. Then question five, the objectives of first aid. Once again, directly from the textbook, 
So objectives of first aid, two of the points are given, relieving pains and saving lives. You have to mention prevention of death, removing the cause which resulted in the damage, then uh, preventing the deterioration of the victim. Okay, Breathing should be brought back to normal. You have to cover the wound immediately. Also uh, attempt to improve the condition of the victim. Then the second one is complete the following conceptual picture using uh, the uses of xanthan gum. So what all are the uses of xanthan gum? So high quality paper, pigments, ice cream, fertilizers, toothpaste, um, extract pigments, weedy sides, all these are the uses of xanthan gum. All these will be mentioned in your answer. Okay. Then coming next, what are the importance of medicinal plants? So in this, you have to mention about the Ayurveda. Okay, you have to mention names of some medicinal plants and how we are using them to cure diseases and uh, we are using them as home remedies and how uh, Ayurveda is one of the, you know, field, a branch of medical science in India. All these points should be mentioned in your answer. Coming to the last question, that is any one and it is a five mark question. So we are expecting that you have written uh, at least eight points, maximum ten points. So the first one, production of vinegar. Now, I'm pretty sure you all must have written this answer properly. We know the procedures, what is important and which will be, you know, very specifically seen in your answer is you are also giving a backstory that what is vinegar, where all, uh, you know, you are using the vinegar in what all things. We are using it as preservative. We are using it in pickles and all. Then uh, what is vinegar chemically? It is 4% acetic acid, CH3COOH, okay? That should be mentioned. Then all the name of the microbes which are using, which you are using in the production of vinegar, like yeast, that is Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Acetobacter, Glucobacter, all these names should be present in your answer. These are the key points which the examiner will be finding out, okay? Coming to the last one, that is, Formation of transgenic potatoes with the help of diagram. You have to draw a very neat, well-labeled kind of a diagram, okay? And make sure that you are explaining what all are the uses of transgenic potatoes, um, how we are using it as edible vaccine and we are working on it and how the transgenic potatoes will help to fight against uh, Vibrio cholerae and Ischerichia coli the name of the bacteria should be present once again uh, you have to say that it will increase the consumption of these raw potatoes will increase the immunity against the cholera and uh, the diseases which are caused because of e coli so this is all about your second semi prelim paper set number three i hope you've done well in your exams uh, thank you very much hello students so today we are here to discuss the model answers and the way of writing your semi-prelim to biology exam. So moving ahead with what the question paper, what your answers are all about and how are you actually supposed to present them in your examination. Question number one A, choose the correct alternative and write the statements for the same. So students, this is in simple terms your MCQ type questions. And over here, you need to write your question and then select your answer and write the answer word. Say for example, write down the question number one, choose the correct answer. Say for example, if it is answer A, write that word. If it is answer B, write that word, so on and so forth. And this is how we will fetch one mark for every single MCQ that we write along with the questions for the same. Moving further to sub question for question number one, that is question number one B. Answer the following questions with complete the analogy. Always remember students, the answer part either needs to be underlined or needs to be put into the box so that it gets highlighted and the paper character is going to easily give you marks for the same. Further, for question number one, B, second one, match the column. Write down the column A completely and then you have to write directly the answers in column B. 
one a two b three c is not the way how we write our answers in the examination further question number 2a give the scientific reasons any two for four marks that is a question for two marks each always remember <clears throat> for give reason your answer should either start or end with the question statement only and for a two mark answer we always always have to write four points for the same you have to write any two answers two marks each the answers will fetch you four marks if you are writing question number 1 and third kindly make sure that we are putting the proper numberings for the same the question number 2b answer the following questions any three for six marks that is a two mark question each once again for two marks we will all write something called as four points pay attention on question number 2 complete the concept map for applied microbiology make sure students that we are doing this in the flow chart form only in the concept map form only aap logon ko pura wo flow chart banana hai answers likhne hai and usko box mein dalna hai presentation for all the activity and case study based questions should be done very very properly to fetch full marks in the same similarly for question number 3 complete the following chart make sure that the format of writing the answer is as same as given in your question paper properly put the flow chart and then write the answers put the answer in the box if you do not present your answers the way it is required in these type of questions you know fetching marks will become very difficult for the question number 3 once again just look at the paper students multiple multiple type of case study and activity based questions are there which means when we are preparing for our examination we all have to make sure that we focus on every single activity and every single part that is given in our government textbooks because anything that is put into the textbook is any time asked into the examination your paper will majorly consist of these activity based questions as for the new board pattern so always always be very well prepared for the same for the question number 3 answer the following questions any 5 for 15 marks or 3 marks each and that is why if we can see for the very first complete the phases of disaster hame lagta na ki phases of disaster humko puchenge that full fledge brief answer that is not necessary you have to write the six phases get half a mark each for each of the phase that you write and three marks for this map related or the diagram related question it is any five make sure that we are writing the proper numberings for the same pay attention into question number 2 that is what will you do and why your brother is studying in 12th standard and is developed stress case study based questions you will get these references in your master keys as well so refer those answers do not write everything in your own language fetching marks becomes difficult further pay attention to complete the table for question number 4 make sure that we draw the entire table in our answers in the answer papers and underline the answer part iska matlab microbe used role of microorganism and name of the beverage all the answers needs to be underlined very 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 properly same for 6 to 1 the flow chart for nuclear power plant all the three blank boxes which is your answer again has to be put into a box highlighted and made sure that it is very easily seen that it is the answer question number 8 read the given paragraph and answer the questions the most 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 easiest question that you ever get in your papers read the paragraph same as we do in our language papers we need to find the answers and write them one mark for each answer and you fetch three marks for this complete question moving further to question number 4 answer the following last question for the paper for five marks please 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 read the question properly explain the process of land filling sites with 
a neat labeled diagram whenever and wherever in the paper they are asking for a diagram or students if you feel that diagram is required please please make sure that we are drawing our diagrams properly with the labeling putting the diagram into the box writing the name of the diagram and only then starting with our answer and the explanation to fetch proper marks for the same write a comparative note between useful and harmful use usefulness and harmfulness of biotechnology so it is a comparative note directly or indirectly they are asking you what distinguish form so you can write in the distinguish format as well for the same so students this was all about our discussion for the way of writing your answers in the semi prelim two papers all the very best thank you so much hello students myself sajia i am going to discuss the bio paper of semi prelim two which includes the chapters 7 8 9 10 of your syllabus so starting with the paper question number 1 which is mentioned that is choose the correct alternative and rewrite the statement here some mcqs have been taken from the specific boxes of your respective chapters if you are very thorough with that boxes then only you can attempt this question second thing that is a uh, fourth one that is the mention bacteria which is present in root nodules of leguminous plants which help in nitrogen fixation students the option number a that is rhizobium and b that is azotobacter here both the bacteria is involved for the nitrogen fixation but in the question which is mentioned that is root nodules of leguminous plant and for the specific root of uh, leguminous plant the rhizobium is rhizobium bacteria is only found in the leguminous plant so to be very specific the answer is a so for that answer is a the right is the rhizobium bacteria next moving ahead that is a match the column question number 1 b match the column here this complete table or this complete match the column has been taken from the table of your textbook of microbiology so for attempting this question and uh, for uh, taking the five marks you have to be very thorough with that bacteria and by the acid which is the by product of the which is involved by which is involved for the uh, which is involved in the process next that is a question number 1 b second one that is a complete analogy here the first option which is given is a insulin and this insulin is a hormone which is involved for treating the disease known as diabetes and next that is a interleukin it is not a hormone it is a protein which is used for the treating a disease known as a cancer so next that is a give the scientific reason the question which is asked dna fingerprinting uh, fingerprinting is useful in forensic science and the paternity testing so for the answer you have to be very specific uh, for what purpose the dna has been used so identity identity of a criminal can be done from the various sources of dna by the blood semen a and a on a crime scene so this point is to be there in your answer next the question which is there that is herbicide tolerant plant varieties of the crop are being produced developed microbial enzymes are used instead of chemical catalyst in a chemical reaction for this question hello all of you my name is supriya damle and today we are going to review the paper number 6 or the set 6 so the first question is choose the correct alternative and rewrite the statement here the name of the bacteria it is asked which is used for the production of the ajinomoto so we know the answer is brevibacterium and cornibacterium so here you are going to mention the option you are going to underline that correct option and then you are going to write rewrite the entire statement always you have to look whether it is a mcq question or it is a fill in the blank question so for that for mcq there is only option you need to mention but for such questions you need to as it is mentioned rewrite the statement you have to underline that particular uh, answer and then followed by that you have to rewrite the entire statement now second question is stem cells are present in what so we have to write stem cells are present in all of the above so again underline the entire statement 
followed by that each and every question should be answered where you are going to rewrite the statement as per the instructions and you are always going to underline the answers next is the test whether the statement is true or false correct the statement if it is false so first question is all uh, is about gene from bacillus thuringiensis is introduced in the soya bean we know we have studied certain genetically modified crops gm crops where bt gene that is gene from bacillus thuringiensis is introduced only in crops like brinjal in cotton not in the soya bean uh another question is probiotics are used for the treatment of cough and cold see question you have to read it properly it is probiotic it is not antibiotics probiotics can be used for the treatment of diseases like diarrhea and antibiotics can be used in the treatment of cough and cold so you are going to correct the false statement so this true statement as it is false you are going to correct it and then you are going to after measuring false or true or false then you are going to write down the correct statement so read the question carefully because probiotic antibiotic is again very important complete the analogy as it is as the question is given you have to write down that particular code okay now coming to the give scientific reasons so first question is enzymes obtained by microbial processes are mixed with the detergents why they are mixed with the detergents we know detergents we use at normal room temperature and we also know one thing that is this microbial enzymes are very good to be used at the room temperature so they work best at normal to room temperature they work best at the normal ph so for them specific conditions need not to be maintained that's why they can easily mix with the detergents just simply to remove the dirt next give reason is use of mutant strain has been increased in industrial microbiology so first of all what is a mutant strain we know mutant strain is synthesized in the lab where certain nucleotides is shifted here and there and whenever we are going to make any strain a mutant strain definitely it is going to increase the variety of that industrial processing it is going to increase the taste different varieties can be obtained so there's all this is first of all what is a mutant strain and then what changes it is going to imply onto the particular product that we are going to mention here next question microbial enzymes are used instead of chemical catalyst again now what are microbial enzymes the enzymes which we obtain or which are obtained which we obtain from the microbes next thing how they are beneficial over chemical catalyst chemical catalyst are uh, for the maintenance they require higher temperature higher pressure higher ph as well but this is not the case with the microbial enzymes next chemical catalyst they also there is a formation of some by products at the end so separation techniques are quite tedious here in case of the microbial enzyme these things are not there no by products so there is no need for the separation chemical catalyst whenever we are going to use they are going to cause the erosion of the instruments here instruments are not eroded so there is no need for the erosion proof instrument so all this six points and yes most important point that is enzymes can be reused after the chemical process and because of all this reason because of all these advantages of microbial enzymes over chemical catalyst nowadays we are using the microbial enzymes so you need to enlist all the advantages over those six advantages and what is microbial enzyme in this particular answer now how does next answer answer the following each question it is for three mark so, uh, two marks so you have to answer how does the bread become spongy so question is how does the bread become spongy now what all things we put while preparation of the bread and followed by that which reaction is getting carried out by the saccharomyces and at the end of the reaction what is getting produced we know at the end of the reaction co2 is getting produced so co2 is all uh, responsible for making the bread spongy and fluffy so who is going to carry out the reaction what ingredients we are using what type of a reaction is getting carried out and what is getting produced at the end of the reaction or should be or should be included in your answer in the step wise manner 
complete the table as it is you have to mention the role and name of the beverage so for example is apple microbe use saccharomyces cerevisiae role of the microbe fermentation of the juice and we know that the beverage which is getting produced at the end it is apple cider vinegar now why some of the organs in the human body are most valuable we know some organs can only or some organs are present throughout the lifetime they cannot be regenerated once they are damaged they are completely damaged so all this set of the organs which organs can be donated after the death which organs can be donated while the person living should be included in this answer now this is an image based question uh, one person is taking the selfie in front of the car definitely it is uh, a life threatening event because it can lead to the accident it can even lead to the death of an individual while taking the selfie uh next answer the following question is based upon the symbols so you just have to mention the symbol and what type of the disaster if it is going to occur if the symbols are ignored now what type of the changes occur in the home having chronically old person a chronically ill old person and how will you help to maintain a good atmosphere first thing if the chronically ill person is present at the home lots of care is required atmosphere is definitely disturbed and because of that having a good talk with the family members uh discussing the positive take taking a good care of the old individual will definitely help in the maintenance of the good atmosphere now state the uses of stem cells first of all what are stem cells the cells which have ability to convert into any organ this group of the cells is definitely called as stem cell so we have to mention first of all what is stem cell and then you are going to mention its two uses that is they are used in the regenerative therapy and they are also used for the organ transplantation they are used in the treatment of various diseases like diabetes and various blood diseases like thalassemia so you have to mention all this point first of all what is stem cell followed by h2 uses in the descriptive in the described manner which fuels can be obtained from biomass as it is you have to mention gas here uh, what is biomass and what type of the uh, fuels can be obtained okay now what you you will do when your friend develop a hobby of snapping selfies so in the above image also we discuss the same that is if a person is taking the selfies this the person is unaware about the uh, about the surrounding that is what is happening in the surrounding so instead as a good friend we are going to suggest our friend to develop some different set of the hobbies for the same okay ne next question it is which are the various ways to minimize the stress so different activities can be carried out in order to minimize so this answer can also be written in the point wise manner okay next question is the paragraph based question <coughs> now here direct uh, questions are so you have there is need to mention the direct answers depending upon the paragraph okay so you just have to read the paragraph for example this is the bacteria which work against or list the bacteria against which this food will act so we know it is vibrio cholerae and escherichia coli or e coli so directly you are going to write down the name of the bacteria and you are going to complete the same uh, sentence in the paragraph based question lengthy answers are not expected now next that is a question number 4 is about land filling site and here it is mentioned that you have to support your answer with the neat labeled diagram so even if it is not mentioned that you have to support this answer with the neat label diagram you have to draw the diagram okay you have to draw the diagram because biology you need to support your answers with the diagram so this land filling site okay first of all we know a pit is dug then degradable waste is dumped then some specific microbes are added over layer of soil is added so this different things you have to, this process you have to write in the point wise manner followed by that you have to draw a diagram so whenever you are drawing a diagram it is mandatory to you have to box it and then you can write down the labelings on right hand side but always try to support your answers with the diagram and also mention the examples of the particular uh, question if it is possible if it is given 
finally which problem does the common man face during the incidence of the cyber crime first of all what is cyber crime what are the different types of the cyber crime and then the problems that is many fraud cases are uh, actually reported because of this fake identities can be created so what how it is going to impact the common man that you are going to summarize in your answer 